Hi everybody. Um, I made some tags for the month of April for uh, the Scrap Beach Swap. The theme was Recycle. And so when you saw the video, you asked, several asked if I would mind showing how I did this from beginning to end. So this is um, the tags. This one I painted and I added a stamp. Then I stuck it on to a tag to give it more durability. Um, then I added fibers and added a pop top lid as my charm uh, to signify recycling. And then this one is my ATC tag, um, ATC card, and added fibers and then my flower. And I didn't have to reinforce this one. It was small enough and I thought durable. Also recycled. These were made from this. plastic bag. So I'm going to show you how I make these. First thing I do, spread it out. It's okay if it's wrinkled. It actually gives you some of this deep texture that's inside of it. So I'm going to flatten it out. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just barely I'm going to cut off the edge to get rid of that seam. And there's less waste you're using the bag. Now, um, Laura on the following the paper trail did this and she cut out, cut off the image. And that's fine if you do that. But I just wanted to save as much of it as possible and since I'm going to paint them anyway, I didn't think it really mattered. And it's also less waste. So then I just straighten it out. And then I fold it. And if you want less of the writing, just look at this direction. And I'm going to fold it there. Fold it here. There is static in this. And I'm going to fold it this direction. And this direction. And what I did on some of them is I just kind of cut that inside the bag. And I let the air out. And I did this to a lot of bags. I took um, pretty much a day and did a whole bunch of bags which that's what I'm going to do now and I'll be back shortly to show you the next step once I finish my bags and uh, then I just store them in a um, container and once I completely finish which I won't go into that right now so that's the first step okay now that I have my bags all folded I've got a nice stack then I've got my iron, and the iron has different settings on it. You're going to want the polyester setting, which for this iron is number three. So I'm going to get one. Then we're going to need some parchment paper or newspaper, or you can use um, a paper sack. And then you're going to need a glass mat or something that's, you know, ironing board, whatever. I do have an ironing board. I did get from my iron. <laughs> I knew you would love that. So then I'm going to take my paper, which I folded. I'm going to touch this inside. Texture. 
Now my iron is pot might be just a little bit too warm for this particular, but it's all melted together. Isn't that rock? <laughs> I think that's just totally, totally awesome. So there's my paper. See the texture inside? That's going to be great when we cut out the tags. It's going to be awesome. Can you see the texture? So, I'm going to finish my stack. And we're going to do one more. Stitch all the air out.